Oh, I actually have to get music, don't I? Oh, that's rough. All right, one moment. What are we going to use today? I think that, you know what, we're going to do a little bit different. Let's do uh, um, do some lo-fi Minecraft. I think that's a little bit different. If I can actually get it. There we go. All right. Hello and welcome to the official, official, 100% official, 160,000 road to 160,000 stream. We are now within the field goal range. That's right, we are at 150,981 subscribers, which means if we gain 19 subscribers during this stream, we are only going to be 1,000 subscribers away from 160,000, which will be the first time the channel has hit a milestone in like a year. So, oh, damn, that is loud, man. Okay, that's probably my fault for having my headphones on so high. I don't know what it looks like to you guys. Um, let me check to make sure that the volume isn't insane. Okay, it's 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 pretty loud. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn it down a little bit more. Just unsubbed. Thank you, thank you, kind soul. No, you can't you can't vote Spike 2020, but you can vote Spike in 2036. All right, I'm gonna have to get the Vuperian party. Uh, the Vuperian Party channel back up because gotta gotta do it, you know? 2036, I've got plenty of time to campaign, so uh, if you see Albright on the ballot in 2036, everything's alright if you vote Albright, you know? See? See it even rhymes. You gotta vote for me. Alright. It's time to get Pattery, boys. <laughs> Time to get powdery. Today I kind of want to do something with a city, something a little bit larger scale. Hmm. But are there any cities that re- Hmm. This one has water. I like that. Let's see. Can I delete these message thingies? Is that a thing? Can I get rid of these? They're so obnoxious. <laughs> Let's see. Are they like a wall? How do people put them up? They delete it with... Is there any way to destroy it? Is there any removal possible? I want to figure this out. Uh, hi from Ohio. Uh, what's it like living in an important state? Huh? Decoration tools. <gasps> oh, this is probably where it would be. Draw decoration pick up. Huh. Tools. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Oh, yes. All right. Now I can finally clean something up. Oh, yeah. Mmm. I finally figured it out. Awesome. What's up from New York City? Hey, you're not too far away. All right. So... Today, let's test explosives, because those are fun. Uh, let's go ahead and save the city as it is, as uh, Death City V72 X2039 B4 Y X2020 N23. Nope, that's a four, three. There we go. I only save things as the most memorable names, because it's very important that you do not lose them. <laughs> very nice. Are, are we prepared to test bombs? Very fun. I mean, the first thing I want to try out is uh, going to be messing with some of our more obvious ones. I really haven't had a ton of time to mess around with things like Polonium. Um, so I'm kind of excited to say we are going to mess around with Polonium today. Very exciting stuff. We're gonna make this bomb have several phases, um, like this, which will be separated by titanium. 
I'm gonna make the central one. Uh, actually, I'm gonna add another layer. I want something to actually initially heat and uh, set off the reaction. And what better to heat it up than polonium? So the center, we're going to put polonium, which will naturally decay into neutrons. That's fine. And then in the next layer, we're gonna put uh, our beautiful plutonium, which will actually explode. And that'll let out a ton of energy, an absolute ton of energy. And it'll let out a lot of neutrons, which is why next what we will do is we will set up exotic matter because this will catch the energy emitted from that and it'll do an even bigger explosion because exotic matter can be absolutely nasty. But you know what turns into exotic matter when it gets enough energy? That's right vibranium which we can cause to pour all over the city and turn into exotic matter for even more of a big boom then on the outside just for the sake of memes we will go ahead and put uh can i even do another layer at this point i guess i can like put it inside of another thingy we'll go like this the hexagon of death god Imagine being named the Hexagon of Death. Your parents must really love you if they name you the Hexagon of Death. Hey, what's up, Hexagon of Death? Oh, I don't know. I'm I'm doing well. Really? Hexagon of Death? You're doing well? That's real nice. Hmm, yes. <laughs> I wish I was named Hexagon of Death. It's the superior name. All right, well, this is, uh, this is certainly going to do some good for us. Mmm, yummy. Looks like we already actually have some energy. It's already converting the vibranium into exotic? What? Oh, because the pressure is high. Interesting. I didn't expect that to happen. All right. It's time to do the test. All we have to do is set it off. I believe I can set it off by just setting a little bit of fire in here. If I just heat it up a little bit and get the polonium excited. No? All right. Take two. Let's give it something that it can fizzle. There we go. Oh. We have a little bit of fizzling. Come on. Come on. You know you want to. <laughs> oh. Oh. There we go. The energy goes straight into the exotic. The thermite goes off and the pressure goes out. And we have a wall of 3,000 degree. Molten metal going into the city. Ah, uh, when it comes to the scale of damage, though, a little bit disappointing. I mean, sure, we broke this building and the pier is gone, but at the same time, this building is completely fine. The bunkers are fine. No, we need to do better than that. All right, I need to figure out what the command is to make deuterium very happy. One moment. I'm... Uh, okay. Let's see if I can figure this out. So if I put deuterium in here, I don't know what the command is, but I'm going to guess. Elements dot... Deuterium... No, this is not going to be right. No, I, I don't know how to do it. Maybe someone will figure it out eventually. Just join your Discord. Well, that means you're cool. Thank you for joining the Discord. That's what cool people do. Imagine if you also subscribed, you'd almost cure cancer. It would be amazing. All right, let's see what happens if I throw some photons in here. Nothing really. I don't know why they said to use deuterium and photons. Doesn't seem to be very exciting, TBH. Protons? Eh, still not very exciting. I mean, we get a little bit of reaction out of that, but not enough. Oh, 
Okay. Oh. 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 <laughs> well. The Mighty Proton. I did not expect the Mighty Proton to exactly do do that. Very nice. We have we have a very interesting wall here of death. That that's nice. The bunker still has not been breached though, which means that I need to hit it a little bit harder. I don't think neutrons does nearly as much damage. No. No. It also does pressure, but... Wait, so the neutron deuterium reaction does a lot of pressure, right? And the proton does a lot of heat. Set life dude 9999. Thank you. All right, that'll make this much easier. Okay. So here's the plan. I have an idea. It is a smart idea that totally could not go wrong in any way. Oh shoot. Okay. Uh so what we'll do is we'll do this. And we'll do this. All right, so ready for this? We're gonna fill both of these with deuterium. Right? Oh, how am I gonna do this? Let me think for a moment. Let me ponder. Hmm. Okay, we'll put a hole here. For this one and we'll put a hole here for this one and we'll fill both okay wait, wait so we have to do the uh, set life do 9999 oh uh, no No. All right, I'm gonna have someone try to find it again. Let's try it with normal right now. Let's do a quick save. There we go, very nice. And then let's see if I put protons in here and neutrons in here. Oh wait, no, I wanted to do it the other way. Neutrons in here and protons in here. Are you guys ready? Are you prepared? Are you ready for the reaction? All right. Oh no, it wasn't enough. Oh. Okay, Um, it requires more protons in order to work. So let's see if I can just make it a little bit happier by just giving it a bit more protons. Just a bit. <laughs> a weensy amount. How about that? Oh, we got a little bit of a proton beam there heating things up. <sighs> Still not enough. I mean, that was better. The heat made it much further. Um, all right. But the protons take much more to actually succeed. So what we'll do is... First off, I need something that will block better, so we'll use ceramic, um, and we'll reverse this. So if I put deuterium throughout this, oh, is it an exclamation point I missed? Set life to... Nine 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 nine. Hey, very. N oh, that tiny bit down there. I got excited. All right, I can't really see what I'm doing anymore. So let's go to uh, 
There we go. Display where I can actually see what's going on. Just want nothing? There we go. Alright. Thick protons in the center because they need a lot. Then the neutrons we will do like this because they don't need quite as much. Alright, this is going to be bloody. Uh, is everyone prepared for what we're going to get out of this? <laughs> Just add a quick D to that save file. Alright. Ooh, that was lag. Oh. Okay, so the initial blast from that is going much further. We've taken out both of those buildings. Will we take out a third? We've taken out the third building. It's going into the bunker a little bit. Will it make it all the way through the bunker? It's made it through one portion of the bunker. Is it going to make it all the way? Oh, it's getting so close. Oh, I don't think it's going to make it. Damn. Ah, we have a toasty 1,000 degrees and the city itself is gone, but that bunker is still alive. Okay, here's the plan. The Spook Vooper approved plan in order to make this work. I'm going to add another layer. A layer that exists for the sole purpose of flying out really quickly and doing massive destruction. We're going to put a layer of plutonium. Because we know that the neutrons are going to fly out and hit it very quickly. So the plutonium will hit 9,000 degrees. But we don't want it to be slowed down. So we're going to cover it in a surrounding of wax. Because the wax will very quickly melt. And then it will be able to hit everything very fast. So let's add another D to the save file. And... Ooh, I didn't do the right view mode. Switch to fancy display. Is this it? This seems to be much more effective. Look at the amount of damage. It's going into the bunker. It's going to make it. Maybe? Oh, it might not make it. No, it's so close. It's so close to the bunker. Oh, Oh, the bunker is kind of melting from the inside. One level at a time, the bunker is collapsing. But will it collapse all the way? The plutonium is seeping its way through. Oh, and it's broken in. That's it. Look at that. Oh, man. We have created... Death itself. <laughs> I feel a little bit bad using a bomb that dirty. Alright. Alright, we have succeeded in uh, doing a large amount of damage. However, I'm not just interested in doing a large amount of damage. I want to do a large amount of damage in a small size. So we're going to limit ourselves. We're going to make ourselves have to fit this into a bomb that large. There we go, very nice. Alright, how do we design a bomb this large that can take out this entire area? That is the question. The first thing I'm going to try is just straight deuterium, because straight deuterium is just so effective. <laughs> so let's go ahead, do this, do the set life. Very Oh, there's a bunch of deuterium on here. Let me just quickly deal with that. Ah, all right. Ugh! Okay. Do this up to, like, here. Pause. Do that. And then all we need... Oh, didn't mean to do that. All we need is enough protons to set it off. Let's see what happens. Ooh! That is a lot of protons. 
Wow. Look at each of the, like, blobs of protons go through. Did that just... Was that more effective? Did that actually just do more damage than the giant bomb did? <laughs> Excuse me? What is going on? <laughs> it looks like whatever that glass is made out of did really well. Wow! Um... Huh. The amount of damage we did there was just insane. I'm kind of concerned. There's just protons flying all over the place without a care in the world. <laughs> like, yep, going along my day. I'm a proton. Going along my day. Alright, let's cool things down and see what the city looks like now. It's kind of challenging to get it cold. <laughs> ah. Hmm. Look at that distribution. That's pretty good. Where are the protons even coming from at this point? I don't I don't even understand. They're just bouncing back and forth forever between these walls. <laughs> they are. That is such a meme. Just slowly putting heat if I deleted this, it would actually be a nice little terrain to build a city. You know? Let's build a dome for protection. Nice. And then we can build a little... Oh, that's not what I wanted. Ugly. Here... Oh, ugly. Here's my nice house. It's even happy. Nice. See? We've improved it all. Alright. Take two. Someone said I only need to use a single proton for that so um let's see if that's true oh let's just remember to remove this uh eh, okay single proton here we go does he read chat every time i swear every time oh my god it really does just immediately become proton hell. Wow. <laughs> wow. We packed even more deuterium into that one, so it's probably going to be a lot more brutal. Yeah, each one of those, like, things of protons is just so insane. I cannot believe how much damage proton bombs do. <laughs> okay, this brings up the question. We, we need to go to the original, my favorite map, Bunker City. Because Bunker City is actually really hard to penetrate, this layer here. But I think with a proton bomb... Is another city? Mm. I think with a proton bomb, it doesn't stand a chance. Let's let's test. We'll even do a smaller one. There we go. That's kind of reasonably sized. You could you could transfer that. Yeah. This this plane is just actually no. It's just dragging behind this plane here. They're like yeet. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's go ahead and fill it with deuterium. Oh, we leaked a little bit. Leaking deuterium bad. All right, set the life. One single proton to set off the reaction. All right. Oh, that's not what I want. Back to fancy display and it leaks it all out and then it gets used to grow the reaction further <gasps> oh what no no way no way 
What? How? How did this happen? How is the bunker that strong? <laughs> Do you see what it did to the city? Someone play we built this city in reverse. <laughs> what? What the heck? Alright, if you didn't expect that, you gotta hit the subscribe button. And if, if you did expect that, you gotta hit the subscribe button. How did the bunker survive that though? Like, it's really close down here. The titanium is almost molten. We almost made it in. Wow. I thought the proton bomb would actually be able to do it. I'm honestly really shocked that it didn't make it. So we're actually going to let this cool down. And we're going to hit it with a second one. To see if hitting it a second time will be able to stop it. But my god, I cannot believe... Look at that. I mean, there is some damn, a single proton, oh, two protons, three made it into the bunker. And it seems like a lot of damage was actually done to this part of the defenses. On the right side, not as much, obviously, because the bomb was here, right here. And you can see really clearly that there's a whoosh. The land gets higher the further away you were from the initial impact. So that's neat. That's what we would expect. Oh! It just breached! Oh my god, it just breached! Oh no! And the machinery inside got hit by a proton. Oh man. Wow. I was about to say that it was so, so good at surviving, but no. It didn't make it all the way. All right. Question comes back. How small can we make a bomb with it being capable of breaking through the entire city? Let's go with this small. Like, this is quite tiny. I'm curious, though. Can it be done? Man, I cannot believe the amount of damage... Deuterium can do with protons. I always used it with neutrons. I never even thought of using protons All right Place your bets in in chat. Do you think that the entire city will die? Do you think that the upper level will die? Do you think the bottom level will die? What do we think is gonna happen death? No breach. I bet yes. No City, yeah. Bunker, no. Yeah, all, nah. Upper level only. Entire city, die. Alright, let's see what happens. Oh, the thing is, it's so... It's so deadly once the deuterium leaks out like that. It has so much extra fuel. Alright, so the bunker has been hit, but you can actually tell it's not as strong as last time. The amount of new the protons, especially hitting around here is far decreased far decreased although it seems to be having about as easy of a time getting through the left here hell it seems like it may actually be doing better hmm all right let's give it a minute and see what happens to make it a little bit easier to oh no the proton breached the inside again Oh, see, that doesn't seem very fair. All right, we're going to redo this, but we're going to remove these vials so that it doesn't go quite... Oh. Oh. Okay, one moment. Let me redo this. We're going to remove this just so that the bunker doesn't kill itself. A few pro protons leaking and doesn't count as winning. All right. So here we have the... Oh, let's switch to heat gradient display. So you can see the heat moving across. Oh, that's actually not very good, is it? <laughs> oh, there we go. Heat display. That's good. So you can see once things hit about green, they start melting. And we have this big, big block here of super, super hot. And then it goes through the corner here. And it seeps down. And it starts trying to break through. The left is certainly the weak point. 
This is molten all the way down to like here. I managed to get around. There's a leak here as well through the defenses, but not nearly as serious. So the entire thing is basically a battle between if this can leak through here, and now the protons are starting to make it through because it's getting thinner. But overall, oh, there's one line of defense left. What is this? It's insulation. How ironic. And there's a single spot here, a single pixel here that's not insulation. And I bet you this is where it's going to fail right here all the heat coming through here this is gonna start to melt let's switch it to fancy display so we can actually see what's going on this is where it is actually they're right next to each other and you can actually yeah did you see that that opened up a little bit further but is it heating up or is it cooling down it appears to be like right oh and it broke through Oh, and then the heat starts making its way into the bunker. The insulation isn't good anymore. But unlike last time, the entire bunker is not collapsing. Sure, the left part of the bunker collapsed and had a major amount of damage, but the rest of the bunker really seems fine. I mean, we have a lot of protons flying around still. And the lava is managing to make it slowly into the middle. But I don't think it's quite a win. Um, I, I believe that actually... Oh, it's leaking through here now. Interesting. We actually have the insulation on fire. Let's go ahead and drop some water on this, see what happens. Could could the fire department save them all? Water goes splosh. If you guys don't get down with the splosh memes, I don't even know why you're watching my channel. Splosh. I'm gonna make a splosh t-shirt. <laughs> Who here would wear a splosh t-shirt? That's just the word splosh, like in splashy text. I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure only people on this channel would get the meme. <laughs> splosh merch now. Mmm, <laughs> splosh. <laughs> All right, so we, we do have for each time I see the subscriber thingy plop up, I will just say splosh, because beautiful word. All right, the bunker survived. I'm willing to say by this point, the nation is going to respond and try to recover the area, and just putting some water in it is able to cool it down and recover it a bit. So there's secret tests and robots and stuff survived, and we didn't quite manage to wipe out their nuclear program. How disappointing. Obviously, a second bomb would, would be able to do it. All right. So, this brings up the question, how can we make a tiny bomb? Tiny, tiny bomb like that one that is actually capable of wiping out the entire city. I am proposing a new design. Watch this. I think one of the massive disadvantages we're getting when we're doing this. Oh, I screwed that up. I think one of the massive disadvantages we're getting when we're doing this is that the deuterium is all in one spot and it goes out pretty evenly. But what we really want to happen is the deuterium to go out and flood the entire city before exploding. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make pods, little pods of deuterium. Each pod will, oh, whoops. Each pod will hold deuterium. And they're in wax, so it'll breach, hopefully, 
before the uh, center point breaches. And just to help that out a little bit, I'm actually gonna make this a little bit thicker on the center. I'm gonna put a layer of quartz just to make it a little bit harder for it to get out. Um, and then let's go ahead and grab our deuterium, our main reaction. Set the life. Switch it to nothing display. Grab our single proton. All right, boys, set your bets. What do you, oh, splosh. I have to say splosh because someone subscribed. Set your bets below. What do you think is going to happen? Do you think it's going to be better? Oh, splosh again. Another subscription. I have to say it. All right, so predictions will die it will breach going boom boom splosh no no splosh double splosh the whole city will die remove the vials no it needs to start in something it's cheating if i just have random do everywhere all right here we go our bomb is here it is prepared it is ready the last thing i'm going to do is make it a little bit more into a uh, single bomb just so it's not really cheating we're just gonna coat this all in wax splosh uh, if, you, if people keep subscribing i have to keep saying splosh so you get something out of it also we're only like a thousand away from 160k so i don't know i'm a fish or something right that's why you gotta subscribe <laughs> it all makes sense in some part of the world or sometime all right are we prepared let's go ahead to our fancy display and oh it did not do what i wanted it to ah uh... that's disappointing we did not get the result we wanted not at all splosh <laughs> darn it Mmm. I'm very, very sad. That did not do what I... I wonder if I can do it with less. Ah, uh, Actually, I've got an idea. What if we preheat it? This is probably cheating. But if I preheat the bomb... Let's say we threw the bomb into the microwave beforehand. Microwave bomb. There we go. Okay, the bomb has been microwaved beforehand. Mm -hmm. What do we have? Oh, it's leaking the deuterium like I wanted it to. Well, I mean, the creepers were a mistake. Um, Is I that good enough, it. though? Uh, I don't have any more. Ooh. Uh, I mean, it's certainly splosh, splosh, splosh. I'm, 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 I'm forgetting. Oh God. Well, I think that may be enough proton bombs. I think, I think I've think i done enough proton bombs um, to be happy with the results. Um, I think I should probably try out something new. So, does anyone have an idea for a kind of bomb we should make? Hmm. <laughs> No, I don't want to go to Brazil. You're going to Brazil, damn it, and nobody is saying otherwise. We are all going to Brazil on this fine day. Notice me, Senpai. Codemaster, you gotta beat me in programming to be a true Codemaster. <laughs> Excuse me. Gravitron. I don't know, a Gravitron bomb is kind of cheating all you gotta do is like wee oh that's not what i wanted uh wait oh i just have newtonium gravity off there we go yeah they're cool they're cool and all but you know you need quite a few of them <laughs> to warp reality Oh, I'm stupid. I am really dumb. They're particles. You know what we could do? 
You know what we could do? I just realized they're particles. <laughs> you know what that means? That means I can put them on the outer layer of a bomb and have them fly everywhere. All right, let's go ahead and create bomb bro. Oh, what the heck is going on? <laughs> what is happening? What is this? It's 9,000 degrees. Oh, and then it just dropped it. Uh, all right. May have done a little bit too much. Um, hmm. Let's make the layer of Gravitrons a little bit smaller so they don't eat each other as easily. And we have to make the explosion a bit stronger. <laughs> More, uh, deuterium, sure. Deuterium is friendly. And we will uh, do thingy, and we will do deuterium with neutron. Okay. Oh! <laughs> it's holding the bomb there, too. What the actual heck? <laughs> what? It did so little damage compared to what it should have, but it looked so cool in the process of doing it. Wow. <clears throat> that, that building is now gone. The building is no longer accessible. Okay, um... Hmm. Hmm. This brings up a very good question. What if I fill it with a ton of pressure? I, just for science. Let's say we get the pressure all the way up. Oh, it's fighting the gravity. Look at it go. Look at it go, if I had more pressure. What is happening? What is happening? <laughs> the Gravitrons are like causing the universe to glitch. It looks like the Neutron died. Let's go ahead and help it out. Oh, there we go. That's an explosion. Hmm. The thing is, it does seem like I am incapable of getting the Gravitrons to really work as an effective bomb medium. Which is a little bit disappointing. I was kind of hoping I'd be able to figure that out. Use Gravitrons and Isos. Isotope Z, radioactive decays into photons when touching photons. So a photon bomb. Wait, does this just... Does this just... One moment. Hmm. Interesting. Is it creating negative pressure? Wait a moment. Oh, it does. It creates negative pressure. Now that's an interesting... That's a very interesting characteristic. Hmm. All right. I'm, I'm learning. <laughs> Sorry. Can we hit 300 viewers? Possibly. I know I know the answer is possibly. My record's like a thousand when I did my face reveal. All right, so nobody will notice if we replace this clock tower with a bomb. Let's go ahead and do Gravitrons, Isotope Z, and a healthy serving of photons. Oh, shoot. Got to do the most important part. <laughs> hmm. It's like a worm. It's like a microbe. 
It's just stretching out in odd directions. Aha! Look at this single-celled organism slowly engulf the Northwest Diner. Hmm. That's an interesting result. What if I add more Gravitrons? Mmm, Gravitrons, yummy. <laughs> it appears to be more angry. Let's add more Isotope Z. Could possibly go wrong. It can burn? Isotope Z can burn. Of course it can. That makes sense. Oh. Oh. It's like we've created some strange creature. Oh, the photons inside of it get very angry and create very, very low pressure. What the actual heck am I creating? This is so weird. <laughs> it looks really angry. <laughs> Let's just keep adding more material. <laughs> this never has to end. It's literally a bacterium at this point. It's, <laughs> it's so angry. <laughs> Photons. I don't... I have created a pet. We cannot let the pet die. No, the pet is dying. Quickly. You have to keep the pet fed, okay? You don't feed the pet, it gets sad. Mmm, look at its beautiful nucleus and cytoplasm. It's doing very well. If we add photons, it gets... Much crazier when it comes to pressure. I didn't know you streamed Spore. I used to stream Spore, actually. We just keep adding Gravitrons. Things just get really weird really fast. Isotope Z. Very nice. Alright, let's just add some photons into the mix. In the there you have it. This is what happens when Spike Viper is left at a computer for too long. I... I don't know what to say about this bomb. It's... 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 it terrifies me. <laughs> what if I just put exotic in? Hmm, let's feed it exotic. Nothing could possibly go wrong if we feed it exotic. Yes. Genius. Genius tier. Alright, now that we have fed it exotic... Do we expect anything interesting to happen? Add some electrons. Hmm. <laughs> I really have no clue what is going on right now. But I am thoroughly enjoying it. It really does look like a bacterium. Hmm. Hmm. No! Don't die, my child! <laughs> you can keep your rainbowy essence over here with these beautiful new Gravitrons. Hmm. <laughs> I will feed you all the electrons you need. No worries. N no worries, my, my beautiful blob. <laughs> One thing you do not want to call your girlfriend. <laughs> you beautiful blob. <laughs> Alright. Okay. The organism seems to be very happy with its current state. Oh! Maybe it's less happy now. <laughs> Alright. This is at a little bit more. <laughs> I don't even know what's going on anymore. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> Okay, it's turning, it's turning into rainbows. All right, very nice. <laughs> very nice. Splosh, <laughs> thank you for subscribing. Oh man, well, let me say three things. Splosh. 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 
And with that, I'm gonna leave you. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe. If you're over 18, go vote because, you know, that's something we're supposed to do now. Responsibility and shizzles. And uh, I will see you all tomorrow. Uh, just keep in mind, don't go crazy no matter what happens. My channel will always be here and you will always be able to watch me splosh with random elements. So have no fear. Spike Viper is always here. Do you want me to always, always be here? As in you can talk to me like we're friends or something even though I don't know you? Well, you can. I talk a lot with my fans. All you have to do is go to... S uh, oh, no, I have to actually get the link right. You can go to Discord... Dot G G slash Spook... Like, Spooky... Vooper. Like, Viper, but the... I was replaced with two O's for a reason. If you join discord.gg slash spookvooper, I promise you a sploosh in time. It'll be great. You'll talk to me, you'll get involved in Vuperian politics in our electoral system. You will lose your life as you try to become a millionaire in our virtual economy. And you will force me to add more features and spend hours of my time programming random shit. So, nothing to lose! I expect to see you all there or you are fired. Fired.